Hello everyone, Revac Tech here, and why do iPod Touches still exist in 2017? So, let's find out. The iPod Touch first generation was introduced in September 5th, 2007, making it 10 years old. So this device was a big deal like the iPhone. It was the iPhone without a contract, and the iPod lineup is one of the best selling MP3 players of the 2000s. So let's get into the iPod Touch lineup and specification. The iPod Touch first generation was the very first iPod Touch, so it's pretty special, but the specifications in 2017 aren't so special anymore. The processor is a Samsung ARM 400MHz system on a chip. Today that's not much at all, but it has 128MB of RAM and comes in 8, 16, and 32GB of storage. So the iPod Touch first generation has a 3.5 inch display with a resolution of 320 by 480 and 163 pixels per inch. Nowadays that display isn't good, but was great for the time. Also, iPod does not have any speaker or volume buttons. It's only software controls. Now other reasons that you might like this iPod is it has a Wolfson Audio DAC, which sounds a whole lot better than any device after 2007. Trust me. It sounds fantastic. So next is the iPod Touch second generation. This iPod was released in September 8, 2008, so one year after the iPod Touch first generation was released. This device has a 533 MHz Samsung ARM system on a chip with 128 MB of system RAM. The display is the same as the iPod Touch first generation, so a 3.5 inch screen with a resolution of 320 by 480 with 163 pixels per inch. Now the audio sound of this device isn't as good as the iPod Touch first generation, but will still be fine if you use Apple EarPods or Apple EarBuds in general. You almost won't ever hear a difference. So sadly, I don't have the iPod Touch third generation, but it's almost the same design as the iPod Touch second generation, but the third gen has a big speed bump. This makes it so you can now have a home screen wallpaper and it can run iOS 5. Now the iPod Touch fourth generation so this iPod is probably one of the most popular iPod touches made. So many people had this. Almost everyone I knew at the time of, of its lifespan had one. But the specifications of this iPod are a lot better than the last three iPods. This iPod has a 1 GHz Apple A4 system on a chip with 256 megabytes of RAM. This is a huge upgrade from older iPods and is one of the first iPods with a camera. Not so good, but it has a 0.7 megapixel cam rear facing camera. It's a potato now, but the display is also a huge upgrade from the previous iPods. So the fourth generation has a 960 by 640 retina display with 326 pixels per inch. Yeah, it looks a whole lot better because of the retina display. Now, one of my favorite iPods of all time is the iPod Touch fifth generation. So this iPod was released in September 12, 2012. This iPod is one of the best iPod touches in my opinion. It was the first iPod to support colors, or Apple likes to call it flavors. So this device comes in two variants, so the original one from 2012 came with 32 and 64 gigabytes of storage. Now the 16 gigabyte iPod touch fifth generation is the second variant that came out in 2014. It doesn't have a rear facing camera and only came in silver with a black screen. But this iPod will come in blue, product red, pink, yellow, silver, and slate gray. So there's a whole bunch of colors. Now the speed of this device is also great for the time. It has a Apple A5 system on a chip clocked in at 1 GHz with 512 megabytes of RAM. The display was also changed again. Instead of 3.5 inches from the last four iPods, this iPod can't, has the same screen size as the iPhone 5, so 4 inches. The resolution is 1136 by 640 and 326 pixels per inch IPS retina display. A huge display upgrade again. Now comes the current iPod Touch and the last iPod Touch as some people will say. So it's the iPod Touch 6th generation. So this iPod was released quietly in July 15th, 2015, four years after the 5th generation came out. 
That's a long time, but the iPod has the exact same design as the 5th generation, except the loop strap is missing and is still one of my favorite iPod designs of all time. The screen is the same, also the speed is the biggest difference. The iPod Touch 6th generation has an underclocked 1.1 GHz Apple A8 system on a chip with 1 GB of RAM. This iPod is future proof basically. I say this because it was quietly announced, but you can get this device in 16, 32, 64, and 128 GB of storage. But Apple recently only made it 32 and 128 gigabytes. I don't know why, but this device also comes in blue, silver, product red, pink, and space gray. So that's really the color. So that's all the iPods in order from start to current. Now there have been many rumors of an iPod Touch 7 generation in the works because of the iOS 11 GM leaks recently. It speaks of it, but overall, there is a purpose of the iPod Touch in 2017. I honestly think for many reasons. I'll only state a few. One, it's great for a dedicated music device. Two, it's a great device for a child or a teenager that does not have a phone or does not want to pay for service. But with a smartphone evolving every year, I can see why people don't want the iPod anymore. But there's still a market for the iPod in 2017 and now in September of 2017 Apple has hidden the iPod from the main page of their website so you will have to go to the music section and in July the iPod Nano and iPod Shuffle got discontinued so the iPod Touch is the only iPod being sold by Apple still now because of this I think there will be an iPod Touch 7th generation only time will tell and with iOS 11, the iPod Touch 6 is getting slower and slower. I wouldn't be surprised if they discontinued the iPod when iOS 12 gets released. But that's really it. I guess that's it for the iPod Touch lineup. It's a great product, and I will be sad when it gets discontinued. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this video today. Hopefully you do enjoy. And if you did, please smack the like button. Follow my Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description. And as always, this is Revac Tech, signing out.